Hi everyone, and welcome to Personalized Nutrition. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a yummy and delicious Christmas cake. I created this recipe for genotypes gatherers and warriors, or for blood type O and A, if you are following the blood type diet only. This recipe is rich, moist and fruity without being too sweet and so delicious. We'll start by placing the prunes, the apricots and half the cranberries in some grapefruit and peach juice overnight. Using a brand of fruit juice here, which is 100% fruit and no sugar added. Now, I know some people don't like prunes, but in this recipe, it gives the cake a rich, sweet moistness that I find is lacking when you leave them out. I find it's best if you can leave the fruit to soak in the juices for about two to three days because then it'll turn into a thick and luscious syrupy mixture. When it's done, drain the fruit and mix the remaining juice into the oats. The oats should just be covered with the liquid and if there's not enough liquid you can add a little boiling water to cover them. Just be careful not to add too much water or the cake won't set. And you can leave this to stand for about five minutes until the oats have softened and soaked up all the liquid. And by then you should have a consistency which is very much like a thick porridge. For the next step, I like to start with my dry ingredients first, especially when I'm using my food processor. Place all the nuts and seeds in a blender and pulse slightly, just so that you break them up a bit but don't grind them too finely. Put the nuts and seeds to one side. Blend all the other ingredients together in the food processor, except the raisins, apple, beetroot and remaining cranberries. Fold the remaining fruit into the mixture and prepare a baking tin or an oven dish with either parchment paper or tin foil to prevent the cake from burning. Stand the baking dish in a bath of water. I like to do this because it keeps the cake nice and moist and further helps prevent the cake from catching on the bottom, which I find very often happens with heavy base cakes like fruit cakes. Bake the cake for one hour and then turn off the oven and leave the cake inside for another one to two hours. For the recipe and the substitution ingredients for the other genotypes, as well as the Weight Watchers points per slice, please go to my blog, I've put the link down below. And until next time, let food be your medicine. <laughs>